Yeah, there's crows crowing. Why? Every time I film. Hey! This past year was the third time that I've attended the Fantastic Workshop, and I am so very excited to share with you my experience there. The Fantastic Workshop takes place in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee. It is located on a beautiful campus where we spend the entire workshop eating, sleeping, and working together in little dormitory type settings. It's pretty cool. The Fantastic Workshop for me has been one of the, the many events that has really helped me build up my business as an artist and entrepreneur. I go there not only to learn from the instructors, but also to learn from the other students um, that are also there. It's a really wonderful place to be able to bring your own ideas, your own projects, and bounce your ideas off of peers and colleagues. I think having a community around you that supports your work and specifically an artist community where you can go to them with your own ideas and they can help you refine and improve them. I feel like this year was probably the first year that I've come with a fully formed project in hand. It was really helpful to have a, something that was already going and that I was able to just kind of bring with me as something I could share, but not necessarily be something that um, I was still trying to work around and figure out, if that makes sense. I brought my Naya the Fox Dragon novel with me where I had already done all the writing and I was working on the illustrations. So it was really cool to talk to other creatives there that were also kind of in that same place, as well as be able to offer a lot of just feedback and support for people that were maybe one or two steps behind. I really am very excited about how many other creatives are putting the time into creating their own unique personal projects and really building more of their career around these kinds of things. I think it's really important as a creative to put time into the, the kinds of things that make you happy. And for me and for a lot of my friends, our own personal projects, our own stories are what really get us up in the morning, really get us excited. Really, it was up to you to do whatever you wanted to in that particular moment. I use that time to basically just showcase my project and talk a little bit about it and just get some really wonderful encouragement from the instructors and it was, yeah, it was a really good time. I had a lot of conversations about world building there this year. I know that wasn't necessarily the theme or the topic of the entire workshop, but there was a couple instructors there that were wonderful at giving some really great advice on this front. Each year I've gone, I've always learned something from all of the instructors there and a lot of things from my peers as well. It's just a wonderful coming together and spending time that's really valuable and something that I will always cherish. For me, one of the big takeaways from the workshop was just refocusing my time on my own personal project. As you know already, I've been working on my illustrated novel, Night and the Fox Dragon, and taking that project to the workshop in late 2018 really just allowed me to rethink the project as a whole. Obviously, I got a little bit of feedback while I was there and really start into 2019 with a lot of energy for finishing this project really soon. I don't think I would have been able to really do that if it wasn't for the workshop. I, I really needed the time and the space and the, the other people around me for feedback. In order to be able to see that, this was something that needed to be completed and was something that was, yeah, a priority above a lot of other things that I've been prioritizing. If you are interested in doing work on your own IP, um, an independent artist, uh, selling your own work, any of those kinds of things, if those interest you and are something that in particular you're already doing and you want a little bit more refinement, I think the workshop is gonna be a really good place for you. While I was there, I was also a part of kind of the, the, the faculty, sort of, in some ways. I volunteered as the videographer and I was able to get some really unique and 
cool interviews. I hope you will enjoy listening to what some of my other friends and peers have to say about the workshop and also specifically about community. I, For me, this year was all about finding that connection with other creatives and I find it so incredibly important. And what these few have to say about it, I think is something you will enjoy. Uh, the workshop for me is kind of a place to reflect on the year. It's definitely something that I look forward to. Um, it's not something that, that I feel I need every year, but I think it's something that is great because you can get something out of it at any skill level. The workshop is an event for you to meditate on your business, your career, and your path and assess what direction you want to take it moving forward. Oh goodness, it is an opportunity to come and self-reflect, um, to learn from masters and amateurs, to, oh my goodness, to blow your mind time after time after time. <laughs> I think my favorite part was, I guess, the Patreon talk. That's something, because I feel like it's really pushed me towards, towards an actionable goal. That's something that I've been considering doing. Mm -hmm. And there was, of course, like your normal reservations, like do I have enough audience? Do I have enough content? This and that. It's nice to come away with an actual goal, like steps to take rather than, I mean, ideas are wonderful, but to have this plan going forward is, is really helpful. Community for me is a sense of belonging. It's, it's something that you know you need and you know that throughout the year you may not even be a part of it but but when it's there and when you show up to that thing it's there and it embraces you and it's it's it enjoys having you around community for me as an artist is the ability to bounce ideas off each other be inspired by each other support through whether it's emotional support or um, uh, educational support you know where you where you just you know you you don't you don't hoard your knowledge you share it i'm reminded by the artists that have a strong community not only how important it is but how to respect them and understand that without them you really wouldn't have a career and it doesn't have to be like the direct community that are commenting everywhere it could be the subtle people that buy prints from you at conventions you know and just remembering that they are so vital to you staying financially stable and to give back, whether that's doing like short little videos like this or uh, giveaways or things like that, to really just build a relationship with the community I find to be very, very important and overlooked by maybe not all of us, but I would say a majority, yeah. As I've said before, I highly recommend going to the Fantastic Workshop. Signups are now open and available if you're in at all interested in attending this year's One Fantastic Workshop. I highly recommend looking into that. The dates are November 14th through the 17th. Some of the instructors that are gonna be here this year are a few of my personal friends and people that I look up to as amazing and incredible educators. A few of those names are Steve Argyle, Sean Murray, Vanessa Lemon, Ron Lemon, David Peterson, Sam Gay, and Tim Bunroon. I am super stoked about this year's list of instructors and I hope that you'll be able to make it. I want to thank you so very much for watching this video and especially huge shout out and thanks to my patrons for making these videos possible. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!